guys, welcome back, Anglisfall here, and we're back for some more Project Hospital. The last episode, we had the whole kerfuffle, didn't we? With the old accident and emergency department. I didn't do well with the nurse's zone. I, oh, yeah, if ever you can't get your patients anywhere, it's because you've probably not left them a corridor to walk along. I had put the nurse's zone all the way up to these doors, and yeah, the patients then couldn't get into the observation room, which we'd just built. Yes, I wasted a heck of a lot of money. Um, it wasn't good. It wasn't um, clever. It No, no. And before I make that mistake again, let us bring the corridor along like that. So at least we can then get in these trauma rooms at a later date. Yes, let's, um, yeah, let's do that, right? So at least, uh, yeah, people can wander around. Um, I feel we're going to lose a lot of money today. Um, but yeah, today what I want to do is, um kind of just um tidy stuff up again again it's it's all about the tidying and keeping stuff um functional and ready for future expansion but yeah what i want to do today is because look these guys are having to walk miles away to to take their patients around so let's put a nice entrance here let's get our foundation set up all the way around here so then when we move to the second floor here or the first floor okay blah, blah, blah. when we move upstairs let's go with that um we're ready and we've got space to move because I'm, I'm struggling to actually see where i'm going to be putting things at the moment this is this is my problem i'm struggling to figure out where stuff is is going so Let's waste some budget on some foundations, right? <laughs> just what we want. Just what we want to waste our money on. Right, so let's um yeah, let's bring us around like that. Let's get that in there and the foundations in like that. There we go. Now we've got foundations ready to go. And same with there. Nice and squared off. And you know what? What we'll do? We'll do the old foundations there like that. And like that. I know it's a it's a fair old chunk of money we're spending, but it's just it just makes my brain happier. Just makes my brain a lot happier. And then yeah, we want to do an entrance a bit like this here. So we need six wide for the entrance, don't we? So we could fit the doors in. But I do like the double doory kind of approach. So how about we do a bit like that? Um mm -hmm. Yeah, we might as well do, yeah, like that, like that. There we go, right. Um, ba -ba -ba -da -ba -bum. Get some walls in. Let's do a bit of these walls here. Yoink. Um, and then what is it? Three? It's three. I can't really see with it like this. There we go, right. Okay, and then we do another one like that. There we go. Um, we maybe want to do, yeah, that side. That side. I didn't do this side uh, yeah i did yeah i did right i think that's good right let's get ourselves some doors which doors would we use those ones so yeah let's get ourselves some double sliding doors like that double sliding doors like that and then let's get the tall windows yeah we've done all the way around haven't we yeah yeah that's a kind of nice entrance like so that again it looks it looks like Again, the rest of them. We we want our entrances to be very similar, right? Um, doing. There we go, like that. Then we want the black in the middle so people wipe their feet. Excellent. Right, good. Um, and then I don't quite know how we're gonna do the old uh corridor. So let's just do a wall like that there, and then along there like that. Um, maybe get it so it's meeting there we go that's good right that will save a heck of a load of wandering around right did i do that right around here yeah i did do that right didn't i yeah yeah i might just uh, yeah i might fill this in so it's so it's open i might yeah did, 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 but for, for the moment i'm i'm unclear unclear how i want that to go emergency let's put your corridor oop, all the way out here like that there we go. At least then they'll they'll keep cleaning that area. Right, so we've got our entrance here. Oof, okay. Because, yeah, what I want to do is I've got trauma rooms all the way along here. I want trauma rooms along here as well, kind of the same. So maybe if we do the old, where are we, trauma centre, what have we got? Oop. What have we got? We've got six by six. So, yeah, if we do a... 
Uh huh. We're going from here, aren't we? So yeah, okay. Let's get that in line here, in line here. So six by six. Let's plan. Let's plan. How many can we fit in? E. Okay, we can fit three in there. We could probably fit another one, say, along here somewhere and up. Because, again, we've got all this room up here, which is going to be emergency as well. So, yeah, we were either going to do more observation, but we could do the observation all the way back here and get some more trauma rooms down here. So, yeah, that's a possibility. Which then, yeah, we need a corridor down here and, yeah, another nurse's station. Annoyed with myself, I didn't plan that better. Maybe we could bring it a little bit further along here. Yeah, 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 yeah. Let's do a boink, boink, boink. Trauma centre. So how far off have we got that? One, two, three. So if we then do one, two, three down here and we do a six by six. Yeah, I think we encroach just that little bit over here. That will, yeah, that will be nice and symmetrical in my mind. I know we're encroaching here. But there's no windows here anyway, is there? So, yeah, we're golden. Yeah, sorry, pharmacy. You're being encroached upon. But, yeah, at least then it's nice and symmetrical. Yes, that's much nicer. Then we could put another nurse's station about, say, the same size. It's about 8 by 11. So if we then go 2 out, 8 by 11. Look at that. It's as if I planned it. Ha-ha, <laughs> ha on call room, how big had we done that? Six by ten. So we do a six by ten. There we go. Now we've got it nice and symmetrical again. The nurses, I could maybe do that the other way around, but it's all good. And then we can do another observation bay all the way up here. So it gives us plenty of expansion room. Plenty of expansion room. How big did we do this? Six by twenty-four. We do a six by twenty-four. Ooh, that's going to be slightly ugly. So we could do maybe a, a 7 as well. Ooh, okay. Well, we'll do 7 by, say, 22. There we go. That gives us so much room. You know what? We could do 7 by 23. There we go. Yeah, that gives us so much room for just people and things and stuff. I'm liking the idea of this emergency room area. That's good. And we've got, yeah, random corridor just there. It's fine. We could put some wheelchairs and stuff there. That would be handy. Or some food machines. They've got food machines in there, but patients need food machines, right? Um, okay, so do we now do... Oh, yeah, the other thing. Yeah, um, I was going to say, do we do the tea rooms? But no, let's do the tea room in a radiology. Let's get that set up. So if we're... Let's go into radiology. Like I say, it's a clearing... Um, it's a it's a clearing and tidying um, episode today. Again, needs to be done frequently to keep the people happy. Because otherwise, the people get annoyed and the people d d don't work happy. And no, no, we we like happy people, right? We like smiley happy people. Indeed, indeed, we do. I, I hear you say indeed. Yes, thank you. Um, right, let's chuck us some. Double windows there like that, and some double windows there like that. I'm liking the double window uh, thing. I just I just like how it looks, okay? Right, so what do we need in here? Let's um let's chuck ourselves a couple of fridges as you come in. Let's grab ourselves some cabinets with some doors and then some cabinets with some drawers. There we go, nice. Kitchen sink, excellent. Um, where are we? Coffee machine. Let's grab a couple of those, those bad boys, because people need coffee. People need coffee to be happy. Again, I don't drink coffee, but, um, yeah, I hear people like it. <laughs> um, no, I, I know people like coffee. I know people, it, coffee is a good thing. It, well, it's a good thing. A matter of perspective, but it does keep people moving and keeps our people in this game happy. Um... As about we go table there. I know this is this is looking quite um full already, isn't it? But they've got places to relax, people, places to chill. We'll give them a couple of bookcases in case they want to do some studying. A little bamboo plant. And how about a flower right there? You need a bin as well, don't you? Where's the bin? 
Let's put a bin by the door. There we go. You know what? You can have another potted plant, because why not? There we go. Excellent. Nice, easy tea room. Done. So, yeah, what we'll do... Let's, um... Uh, how do I rotate? There we go. Rotate. What we'll do... Let's bring the walls up. Let's grab the walls, do some colouring. Let's go all the way along to there. Then we've got a wall in there ready. And you know what? We're coming all the way along here as well. There we go. Now we look sort of finished off a little bit we're, we're kind of closed in so that's um nice so what we've we got here if we bring the walls down we've got one more room for one more x-ray which is awesome one more mri and one more ct so yeah x-ray we've still got stuff and things needing wow there's six people in this observation room yeah we might need to build another observation room it's all good it's all good right tea room over here we need to we need to sort you don't we let's um Let's give the lab staff somewhere to go rest up. We like lab staff being happy. Anyone would think I'm a lab staff myself. <laughs> yeah, we need them being happy and um, happy and productive so they don't have to walk miles to go get a, go get a break. Hmm. Yes, indeed. Let's chuck a couple of double windows like that. And you know what? You're going to have a very light area because these haematology folk have no windows. They have no windows to the outside world. We need to um, change that so they can go in the tea room for that. Yes, yes, they can. Right, let's do... <coughs> excuse me. Let's do one fridge. Um, I was going to put... Uh, I was going to put a... Uh, what was it? A um, meal counter there. But no, 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 no. We don't need meal counters. Let's grab some cabinets with doors. Cabinet with drawer. Kitchen sink. Excellent. Coffee machine. A yes, please. Um, ooh, ooh, they're gonna get a TV. They are gonna get a TV. So let's get ourselves, let's get a cabinet with drawers like that. There we go. You can have the TV on there. Excellent. That's your little TV snug we'd like. And then over here, we'll do a reading snug. Excellent. Um, and then, yeah, let's get him a table by the window like that. Where are we? Chairs. Plonk, 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 plonk. Excellent. They maybe need... Do they need more? Because there's going to be... There's going to be a lot of lab staff, isn't there? There's going to be a lot of lab staff. So how about... Can we... Yeah, let's plonk that there. Like I said, they've got loads of places to sit and relax. Um, yeah, I had a look down here at this break room. Look, fridges used... Fridges used, fridges used. Yeah, they, they use the fridges a fair bit. Are we up here? Yeah, fridges. Yeah, so we do need another fridge. Okay. That's fine. We can sort that. There we go. You know what? We'll chuck three fridges in like that. We'll grab another cabinet with that. And we'll put another coffee machine right there. Looking cramped in here, but it's fine. It's fine. And you know what? Have a water dispenser. That's what I didn't put in the other one, wasn't it? A water dispenser. It's fine. There we go. Water dispenser. Can we fit one in here? Uh, no, that's not where I did. Where was it I did? Ah, here. Yes. Oh, no. There. This is cramped. Uh, you ain't got no water machine. But what we'll do, we'll put a water machine literally just there. With a vending machine. Have we got a coffee machine? Coffee vending machine. There we go. There we go. At least then you can get your coffee and snacks and water outside and then... Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's perfect. Excellent. Right. This is done. The other thing with the labs, what we need to do, I think we need to get some night shift folk in because, again, this is open all night, isn't it? So if we close the labs overnight, nothing is getting done. So, yeah, let's hire one in each department and see what happens. Let's get advanced thing, me. Um, ooh. What are you? Comforting people person. Okay. You're a hard worker. Pleasant. People person. Oh, you look good. But yeah, you know, I uh, might arrive late. Ugh. Oh, you know what? Natalie Evans, you're in. Right. Over here. Let's see who we've got. Slow. Could arrive late. Yeah, Ray Clements, come on in. And then over here, we'll go for the last one we revealed thing. Hard worker. Helena. There we go. Did I actually hire you? Yes, I did. Perfect. 
And then I was also thinking, X-Ray needs one person overnight as well. No, not that one. X-Ray needs a person overnight as well. But at least we're still getting X-Rays through overnight, which will be handy. Let's reveal your perks. Hedonist. Uh, you're a hedonist, but resistant. Better than an alcoholic. So yeah, John Marshall, you're in. Right. So we've got radiology and labs open overnight. So these guys can still keep doing their thing, which is going to be very handy. None of this is open overnight, which is good. Which is good because we don't want it open. We, we don't want that open. Do we start bringing ambulances in? I don't think so. Let's unpause just for the briefest of seconds. And then let's, um, let's speed time along. Let's see how much we do lose overnight. But yeah, we've got people going. Look, people going in the break rooms already. Right, complicated diagnosis. Bethany ethics. Ethics? Right, have all of them. Oh, go for observation. There you go. Hey, that, uh, yeah, go for observation. Do we have to... Are we going to have to build observation? Oh. Are we literally going to have to build more observation straight away? I mean, it's doable. We could do it, because, yeah, look at all the people we're sending away. Hmm. Or, do we... Do we... Here is the question. Do we put in ITU? Because that means people can go in um, and spend the night and be monitored and actually be treated in ITU. So we won't have hospitalisation at all these other departments. Oh, one thing we haven't done. Oh, okay, Felix. Blue light you. There we go. Um, yeah, look, he needs to go to ITU. Yeah, see? This is what I'm thinking. I think we do ITU. Oh, he's a soldier. Phoenix Duffin. Thank you. Um, yeah, I th yeah, I think we do ITU. But what we do need to do is... Where is emergency? We haven't got an emergency cleaning thing down here, do we? No. Might have to scoot that in that little corner there. Another emergency cleaning thing. Because, yeah, we're going to have to hire a nighttime person, aren't we? Um, hmm. <laughs> um... 24-0% efficiency. Oh, oh, yeah, you look good. You might be late. You're a loyal hedonist. At least you're not an alcoholic. So, yeah, let's get you. And you know what? Let's get... Oh, you're a night... Oh, you're a night person. Yes. Let's get two, two night shift janitors in. That will help out no end. But, yeah, I think... I think let's go ITU straight away. Let's let's get ITU in. And ITU was going to go here. Or do we put it... We start it? No, we're going to have to start here, aren't we? We're going to have to get more lifts in or elevators, however you want to. Well, we don't need more. We don't need more. We don't need more. No, no, no. I've decided we don't need more. I think we might be able to fit ITU here. Will we? Will we? I mean... Mm, it's a big area. It's a very big area. Let's get ourselves some foundations to start with. Let's actually fill this whole area with foundations. 37 grand. But yeah, because if we look down here. Aha. a and &E only starts over here. Go up. a and &E only starts there. This is all x-ray. But this is the corridor. So, hmm. I think this is a big enough area for ITU. I really do think it is. So, yeah, we're, 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 we'll go with this. We're, 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 we're on a mission here. We're on a mission. So, yeah. Let's, um, let's do the four walls, like, sort of, yeah, that. Because that's our kind of square, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's good. That's good. Okay, I wasn't quite planning on doing ITU today, but... I fear it might be necessary. I fear it might be very necessary. What am I trying to do? Floors. That's what I'm trying to do. Yeah. Get a corridor. Oh, well, we've got flooring there. <laughs> just, just, just. It is what it is. Who's cleaning this area? Um, emergency. I'm guessing it's general. Yeah. General people things. Um, what is it? Admin department. Oh, good grief. Jeb. 
But, uh, uh, I failed miserably. Right, let's come all the way down here like that. There we go, because I put it outside of, um, outside of the walls where they couldn't reach. So then that doesn't like it. Ugh. Right, there we go. Right, admin corridor. Next up, ITU. Ooh, and ITU is not the cheapest. Let's put it that way. We need non core room, nurse's station, ITU, and cleaning closet. And then the rest of bleh, bleh, is what it is. But yeah, I think let's go for the prefabs. Um, build prefabs. I quite like the idea of a uh, intensive care provide superior medical care to critical patients. Yes. We could maybe squeeze in. So if we do like main corridor here coming in. We could then start squeezing them. We need a door like that, but I kind of want it open. How how big is this? 16 times 6, right? So how big are we up here? 32. Well, that's unfortunate, isn't it? Nah, that is rather unfortunate. Aha. Uh because -huh. what we could do, we could do one there and then keep expanding out this way. So we could add another couple of beds here. We could copy... Yeah, we could copy that and put two more beds like that this side. Yeah, I like that idea. Let's do it. Done. That. 58 grand. Ooh. But it is nice doing the prefabs. It is nice because look, they've got all their, their worky stuff here. They've got a lab analyzer. They've got their scrubs. They've got everything they need. Um, and look, they've got their beds with their testing and other bits and things. So it is quite nice. I... I quite like not having to make it myself. Um, oh yeah, they've got them all shuffled around, so they're all just slightly different. Yeah, I like, I like. Right, we've got ITU, we've got ITU people. We have ITU. This is, yeah, yeah, impressive. Um, right, what do we need? We need a, a nurse's station. Seven grand. Right, what have we got? That's for six people. What's this for? Four people. Well, we might as well go for the... Duh. This is as many nurses. Um, actually, let's go with the encore room first. How many does that give us? Four or six? Oh, yeah, let's go for the six. And yeah, what we'll do, we'll put a door both sides. So actually, hang about. What we could do, we could put the encore room like that because then we could put more ITU at the back here, couldn't we? Yes. Yes. Yes, done. There we go. And then we'll put the nurses station so it goes in the middle like this and we will open it up because we don't we don't like closed nurses stations i like the nurses stations to be open so they can see all around them we might close a couple of little walls so yeah we'll put that there and what we'll do we'll remove all of that uh no not all of that yet all of that um and then hmm, how about all of that I just removed a load of clocks and stuff, didn't I? It's fine, it's fine. Um, nurse's station. We need to make you just that little bit bigger. There we go, that's what we'll do. We'll make it just that little bit bigger. Okay. How about we um grab the type of wall? Oop. Um, we'll do a scoot to there. Then we'll do a scoot to there. Yeah. Then it makes it just that little bit better because it's open but not open. Yes, I like. I like. I like a lot. There we go. We'll remove that wall. Can't remove that wall just yet. Let's plonk you there like that. Remove that wall. There we go. Come around here. Grab that. There we go. Then they're in and out, in and out, running around. I like that. I like that. I like that. This is good, right? Um, How about we do a bit of the old... That... And then we'll grab you. You can come around like that, maybe? Yeah. That's sort of, um... Yeah, that's not bad. That's not bad at all. But yeah, we've got three ITU beds. We'll have one or two doctors, one or two nurses. Yes, good, right. Okay, let's, um, where are we? Walls, please. Walls. Let's grab the old walls and get the old walls looking how we want them to look. We'll... We'll obviously change them around at a later date. It's fine. Right, well, you know what? Like that. We'll probably move the doors later as well. It's all good. It's all good. It's, um, 
Well, we'll close that. Oh, hmm. Ah. <laughs> yeah, I just realised we've, um... Yeah, we've left the nurses open to the elements, haven't we? It's fine. What we'll do, we'll just do a little there for the moment. And again, this will change at a later date. Yeah, how about we just do a... Oh. Yeah, there we go. Thank you. Well, um, yeah, we'll at least enclose you nurses. <laughs> so you you don't have the wind and rain battering in at you. Yeah, that's that will be handy, right? Oh, we've got 77 grand. Oh, I, I do hope this is not a huge, massive, behoosive mistake, right? It may be. It may well be. But it's going to help us. No end. It is going to help us. I'm, sh I'm sure it's going to help us. It better bloody help us. I want the round windows. We'll just plonk you there for the time being. What we'll do, we'll do a little door out there. And we'll do little cleaning closet okay you're a big cleaning closet you are a very big cleaning closet oh what we could do we could just put the cleaning closet there for the time being how much is that 1700 yeah you know what you're coming in just for the time being there we will move you later but yeah we need itu to be clean don't we so yeah that's fine that will get moved later this is what hospitals do. They build stuff and then move stuff and then shuffle stuff and... Yeah. Yeah, they very much do. Um, you're a night owl. Okay, we'll put you on the night thing. How about we get Clive King there and then we get... Ooh. No, we'll get Jake Hammond. Right, let's get ourselves some nurses. Medical surgery. We're not really that fussed with medical surgery. Clinical nurse specialist. That's more like it, isn't it? Um, I mean... Uh, let's let's reveal their traits. Yeah, because I was going to hire them. <laughs> People, person, and rest assistance. That's good. On the night shift. Who do we want? 30 feet and hedonist. Uh, loyal. Hard worker. Uh, just have a look here. What have we got? Rest assistance. You know what? Gamer. Yeah, you can come in. All right, let's get one doctor. Right, what do we want? Anesthesiology, anesthetist or not anesthetist? Anesthetist or advanced diagnosis? I mean, hmm. Let's unlock your traits. Have we got any good bosses? We've got a good boss right there. This is good. So yeah, Patricia Stone, come on in and Patricia Stone be the boss. Excellent. Right, and then we want a night owl, don't we? So have we got a night owl over here somewhere? No, but you're good with... Yeah, you're pretty good. So, Paul Boland. There we go. We've got ITU open. We've got ITU. So, yeah, people can then... Yeah, there we go. Okay, yeah, yeah, it's closed. But, yeah, Felix should... Where are you, Felix? Hospitalised. <laughs> We've got our first patient. Yes, Um. Uh. save, save one... Save a patient after a collapse. Yes, one next one intern available for hire will be a great candidate. Well, that's fab. Let's slow things down just a little bit. Hey, look, we've got an ITU patient. And yeah, what they can do is they can then give them all the treatments. So this bypasses, give them rest as well. This bypasses the hospitalization for most other departments. It's very handy because they can do the treatments. Obviously, we can't do any operations or anything like that, but they can get treated, which is absolutely awesome. These guys are all emptying out. But yeah, the night shift have appeared. We've got night shift. We've got ITU. Oh, my good God. We've got no money. <laughs> How much did... Oh, good God. 3,000. Oh, man. Okay. Have we not paid... Oh, we're not even paid wages yet. Here we go. Here come the wages. Ouch. Okay, that's fine. Critical workload. We'll figure that out. Oh, ouch. Ooh. Yeah, we're not going to be making tons of money, are we? ITU is just a money... Ugh. Oh, no, they might start making us money. Will they start making us money? Do they... Do they discharge them? I think they do. They must discharge them from ITU, right? Surely. 
Sure, do they discharge them? Unsure. But yeah, we've got a couple of people in hospitalisation. We've got people there. Oh, urgent echo. L. Echo. Where's the echo? Fast USG. Well, why are you... Why... Do you not have... It? Lisa Lang, where are you? Yeah, you... Is that you? Lisa Lang. Oh, we need some more nurses, don't we? Uh-huh, uh-huh, uh-huh. Yeah, we've only got one nurse on the old night shift. Okay, let's have a quick look. Any night shift folk? Uh, uh, what's that? Fast learner? Yeah, damn right. Get yourself in there. But yeah, fast USG. That doctor that needs to do it. Mm. Mm hmm, mm hmm, mm hmm. Urgent, no, echo. Uh, required room, ICU, trauma center. Waiting for a free examination room. Uh, crap. Okay, uh, so, fast USG, which one is that? Oh, the problems. More, more things, more problems. Um, okay, let's bonk in here. Right, so what do we have? Oh, they need a chart board. You there. Why do you not have a chart board? There we go. Oh, yeah, because it was just the ones that they set up, isn't it? Yeah, 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 so we're not using that. We didn't set it up. Right, so, uh, defibrillator, defibrillator, fast USG. For emergency and ICU usage. Ah, so does she need to go in there? Or do we have one in, let's have a quick look in here. We do not have a fast USG, but we need a chart board in here. Um, huh. There is nowhere. Oh, there is. There we can plonk a chart board. Marvellous. Excellent. That will help. Right, I mean, do we? Yeah, I think we've got to copy this. Plonk. And plonk you there. There we go. 22 grand. Oh, good God. Stop purchasing stuff and things, woman. Yeah, hopefully she'll be able to get over there. Actually, we need then another doctor, don't we? Oh, good God. This is where it goes wrong. We need another night doctor. Oh, I'm at night owl. Good boss. Fast metabolism. Emma McCormick. You are in. There we go. Hopefully she'll get straight to it. Come on, fast USG over here. Come on. Get the fast USG. MRI. Okay, yeah, we need night stuff. There we go. Now she's moving down here. Perfect. Hey, I did a thing. I sorted a thing. <laughs> oh, that room was empty. Ah, pants. That's fine. No MRIs overnight, people. No MRIs. Reach 80% reach at the end of the day. Emergency. 50k. That is what we needed. Um, state election is coming. Coming. New public health policy. 25% higher payments. We like this. We like this a lot. This is good. Okay. Okay, I think I've done a thing. I think I've actually done a thing, people. I think I've saved this, because, yeah. She's seeing those patients. She's seeing those patients. Two doctors needed, for sure. Two nurses makes kind of sense, although they're just sat doing nothing. And geography, yeah, 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 yeah. We'll get there, we'll get there. We don't have any night staff, people. you just got about six more hours to last, okay? Six hours. Right, we'll scoot through till morning. There we go, doing their thing. We've got janitors just going around the hospital. Am I right? Yeah, we're aware of this. Oh god, it's only three in the morning. Hopefully they don't leave. If they're hospitalised, surely they can't leave. They just get annoyed, right? I think that's the case. I can't quite remember. Yeah, and geography. Yeah, 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 yeah. You can't walk out. We've got hold of you. <laughs> You're in here. You are not leaving. But yeah, maybe x-ray was the wrong one to get overnight. It's fine. Now they're going to start heading off, hopefully. Oh yeah, all leave. <laughs> oh no, that's all the patients, isn't it? Okay. So if we've got chuck-out time for patients, do they leave? Oh yeah, where's our dude in ITU? Dude in ITU, what do you need? 
He should be hospitalised, eyes on in a bed. You're going to be treated, aren't you? Hospitalised, eyes on in bed. Please tell me you can actually leave. I hope you can leave. Please tell me you can leave. They're not working. Surely you can leave straight from mine. What are you? Checked by a nurse. Eyes on in bed. Hmm. That's a... Uh, that's an interesting one. Ah, uh, there we go. General... <sighs> hmm. General surgery. Patient is ready to leave. Well, that's frustrating. Well, no, you can go home. There we go. Go home. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's fine. Um. Oh, actually, what we could do... Can we put you in... Let's put you... No, no, because you actually need surgery, don't you? So, yeah, let's get you out of here. Go somewhere else. Felix. Oh, you're uninsured. Yeah, are you actually going to leave? Because you've had all these treatments. Go in. No, don't say... Don't say it ain't so. Felix, you're not... That Felix? Sent home. Ah, oh, man. I thought I'd ha I had that. I thought I had that, but yeah, we don't get um, we don't get money for those people. Ah, well, that is frustrating. Internal medicine department. Yeah, this is the point again. Like I said, this is where we start losing a load of money. How did our money do overnight? To be fair, previous day. Okay, we made ten grand. Okay, did we make? Did we actually make ten grand? Huh. I think we actually did make 10 grand, you know? Because, yeah, 25. Yeah, we did make 10 grand just on... We obviously lost a load of money because we were building stuff. But we did actually make 10 grand a day. So that's not bad. We are still profitable. Okay. This is good. This is good. I think we're still... Keeping above board, because, yeah, these guys who have been in observation... Like, he was just in observation, wasn't he? Crohn's disease? Oh, have all of them. Um, oh, he's going to CT intography. Is he? You should check. This is now where we lose some money. Where did that dude go? Did he go there? No. Red t-shirt. Red t-shirt, where are you? Oh, man, I don't even know where he went. Oh, he's here. Where's he going? Going to waiting room for general surgery. Okay. No, this is good. This is good. I think... Medicine department. Yeah. Oh, no. This is where we now start losing a ton of money. Pants. It's, it's good, but not good. Have we got anyone up in ITU? No. That's going to be a department that just... Yeah, a lot of money just gets lost and they've got no break room, so they've got to walk miles. <laughs> they've got no toilets, so they've got to walk miles. <laughs> Fantastic. That's exactly what we want, right? Oh, God. Um, What are you? Are you any good at stuff or things? Are you any better at stuff and things? You're better at stuff and things. Why can't you be treated? Antiarrhythmics. Can we... Let's try this. Let's try this. Put you in ITU... And we'll give you anti... Hang me. Being hospitalised, going to doctor. Hopefully she can then have the... No free bed at ICU. What? Are we full? No, what? There is free bed. There is a free bed. There we go. I don't know, I don't know what happened there. I don't know what happened. But yeah, it's, it's a bit excessive to go to ITU. But yeah, ooh, that was that. Employee leveled up, now a specialist. Ah, perfect. Excellent, right. So have you gone... Are you going to ITU, woman? Being hospitalised, going to doctor. Where are you? Why are you not going? Go, go. Being hospitalised, waiting for bed, fulfilling needs. Well, just go to the bed. Oh, you know what? Go somewhere else. Do we send her somewhere else? No, we need... Why can't she go to ITU? Go somewhere else. 
Get out of here. I don't want you collapsing on me. Um, yeah. Well, I'm actually rather shocked with how we managed to do a thing. <laughs> We've managed to do quite a lot of things. Look at our money. 48,000 already today. Wow. That is rather impressive. Oh, yeah, because we get the kick out, don't we, in the morning. So kick out from hospitalization. Yes. Um... Let's just let's just check how much gets lost on wages because that is a big old chunk. But if we're making this much money, I might just let it run on a couple of days, and then um, come back once we've got more money, and then we can expand again. We can maybe start hospitalisation. But yeah, we need a ITU in because if people collapse, they need to go to ITU for recovery afterwards. So now I'm happy with the fact that we've got ITU in because that's going to be really really good. Let's have a quick look at. 22k. Hey. I'm happy with that. I'm very happy with that. Um, what's critical? Okay. Not there. Not there. Labs. The labs. Oh. The labs are critical. Damn. Yeah. We need to, um, we need to sort that out, don't we? Labs. Critical. Critical. Oh, wow. Okay, yeah, we'll we'll put some more staff in. we the well that will be for next time. Labs is our next mission, right? Wow. Well anyways, um yeah, like I say, we've achieved a lot today. ITU, we've sorted out all our tea rooms and everything, we've had an extra trauma thing, emergency is working, we've got a plan for emergency. I mean, productive day. I'm happy with that. So yeah, if this has helped you out at all, good God, 19 people we sent away. That is not good, but we'll we'll ignore that, right? Um, but yeah, if this has helped you in any shape or form, please do comment down below. Hit that like, obviously, and you know what to do, guys. If you haven't already, hit that little subscribe button. It's nothing for you, but it will really help me out. So yeah, I will catch you on the next one. Cheers, folks.